Hey guys, it's your boy Homer Ziggy. I'm back here with another video. And today, we're back here again with Duran the Rapper. And now, this is his Lost remix to NF Lost featuring Hobson. Now, it's like this this man he literally dropped this at midnight. So, right now, it's March 14th. He literally dropped it at midnight, 12 a.m. So, and it's like this, I promised him that when it dropped on midnight or so, I wanted to react to it on, in the morning, but I had church and when I came home from church and such, I did want to do it at that point, but I was still feeling a little bit tired and whatnot. So I figured I wanted to do it when, when I'm acting like feeling, getting the boot. Not to say that it ain't. Basically, I just wanted to do it when the time was right for me, so. But either way, I did keep my promise to him saying that one way or another, I'm gonna react to it today. So, sorry it took me so long, but here it is. Cause I know eventually, right now it's, I know eventually this is gonna come out either at midnight or like at 1 a.m. or 2 p.m. That's basically how my videos are sometimes, that one minute I'm doing a recording at like 10, in the, 10 at night, and then when I do the process and such, it literally takes it going. The video is gonna be up like at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. or so in the morning. So that's how mostly my videos. It, it depends on what day I drop. I do the reaction as well. But either way, once I do the reaction, that's good. But either way, he just dropped this midnight. Mid midnight. I can't even talk. But midnight, like I said, and. He's been killing him ever since when I got, when he followed me on Twitter and I reacted to his, what, I think it was the, hold on, let me check again, cause some, sometimes I be, well, hold on, let me check, cause like I said, most of the times I do be, I have, I have like over 300 or at least 200 plus videos, so hold on, let me just do it. Ever since when I reacted to the NF Clouds remix he did, hey, let's face it, he killed it then, and trust me, he, so I reacted to the NF Cloud remix one, if you haven't go check that one out, and I reacted to the What's Next remix he did, go check that one out too, and they, and both of them, he's been killing it, so let's see what he brings to the table with this one, so we better check this video out, without further ado, let's get in the video. Yeah. They want us to forget about what happened back in the day. The American dream was built from the back of the slaves. Eat us up for what we worth and send us to the grave. Reparations should be in order for the lives that we gave. Y'all see it. Mm. Oh, so he going to this type of vibe now. He just straight up to the point with yeah. it. They want us to forget about what happened back in the day. The American dream was built from the back of the slaves. Hey, Eat us up for what we worth and send us to the grave. Reparations should be in order for the lives that we gave. Y'all seeing this homicide because they gave us genocide. They don't believe my people were made to have a clever mind. They better start to recognize if they don't come up with better lies. Their whole enterprise is jeopardized. America. You don't get a lot of people talking about Have a clever this. mind. They better start to recognize if they don't come up with better lies. Their whole enterprise is jeopardized. If you don't believe the leaders are evil, you just a sheep. They laughing at the news of niggas dying in the streets. Burning crosses, hanging my people at the same place you meet. These motherfuckers are cowards. That's why they cover their head up with a sheep. Hey, you see him? Hey, he going political on this now. He and... So far, within this what minute or so, he ain't telling no lies. That's how. That's how the. That's how some of the news wanna. The whole enterprise is jeopardized. If you don't believe the leaders are evil, you just a sheep. They laughing at the news of niggas dying in the streets. Burn across is hanging my people at the same place you meet. These motherfuckers are cowards. That's why they cover their head up with a sheet. We the ones who build up this country. I think we deserve the right to burn it down. You told you my people and some call us monkeys. They want to kill us and put us underground. All your enemies want to see it. Hey. That's facts though. Let's face it. America was built on the miracle 
was built up by black people. And hey, who said we might have the right to burn it down and such because we the ones who built it. And it's like this. And it's all. And look here. Don't cancel him and don't cancel me because we all have an opinion. Sometimes the opinion is right, sometimes the opinion is wrong, sometimes it's in the middle. But at the end of the day, it's their opinion. They got the right to say it, and I got the right to say mine too. But he's right though, let's face it. Black people were the ones who build up America, and hell, they might have the right to want to burn it down. But with the way how it's... The niggas dying in the streets, searching. burn across us, hang on my people at the same place. You meet these motherfuckers are cowards, that's why they cover their head up with a sheet. We the ones who build up this country. I think we deserve the right to burn it down. You told you my people in some colors monkeys. They wanna kill us and put us underground. All your enemies wanna see a nigga fall quick. They really wanna end your life over some small shit. Jealousy hard to get off you when you a soft bitch. They hate to see niggas shine, they don't know what sauce is. Facts. No, that's basically how most people are, man. One minute they build you up saying that, oh, you gonna shine, bro, you shine and such. And once they do, sh and once they do go up to the top and such, and they doing better than you would have thought they done, doing like a lot more better than you do, watch how fast all that support and such turns into jealousy and envy. That's why you keep a mind attached, don't start losing focus Fuck everybody who wasn't around when you was at your lowest Watch out for new niggas coming around, they got different motives Just start taking from your pockets and you won't even notice Facts Watch out Yo, cuz One minute they, cuz Wait, if they wasn't with you when they, you were at your lowest and such And all of a sudden now that when you're at your highest top and such With all the success and so you have and so Watch out fast, the people who weren't with you at your lowest want to come with you right now sometimes you gotta watch your circle man and hell even the new ones who wants to come around and such talking about that oh they your homie and so and so watch out you gotta see who's who's real from who's the snake see nigga shine they don't know what sauce is that's why you keep a mind attached don't start losing focus fuck everybody who wasn't around when you was at your lowest watch out for new niggas coming around they got different motives just start taking from your pockets and you won't even notice they don't want to see a nigga go from the hood life to the good life seeing a nigga fall is the only thing that they would like you don't want to trust us so because they tell a good life when you get around the wrong people just know that you could die thanks hey i always tell you whenever he goes into anything that's whenever he Hey, like I said, it's basically like this. Sorry if I stutter a lot, but that sometimes when it comes to good facts, how can I? Sometimes I can't even speak, speak right, because they right. People always want to, people always want to find a way how to ruin your life, all because they don't want to see you succeed. And they was the one who trying to get either guess you up or so, or just want to. But basically, watch out for you. Fuck everybody who wasn't around when you was at your lowest. Watch out for new niggas coming around. They got different motives. Just start taking from their pockets and you won't even notice. They don't want to see a nigga go from the hood life to the good life. Seeing a nigga fall is the only thing that they would like. You don't want to trust us so, because they tell a good life. When you get around the wrong people, just know that you could die. Take my words and use them like it's a fucking shield. Got to watch your back at all times. Niggas never yield, because they be lurking. I don't want to see you get your cat peeled. And rest in peace to the good niggas who died in the field. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. I'm so lost, I'm so lost, I'm so lost. I'm so lost, I'm so lost, I'm so lost. I'm so lost, so lost. Hey man, another, and even, and it's like this, even though it be short for his songs and so when it comes to his remix, because this one was like a minute and 33. But in the span of that minute and 33, he was saying some facts. Because basically the moral for me is, watch who you hang around with. Because you never know if they're there to either really want to support you or so. Or want to just lynch off you. Because one way or another, you see somebody's true colors when it comes to when they times to let them prove to you like sorry prove to you if they're loyal to you no matter what money or no money or if they're just with you 
for the money and such there because look at and you know how this is a good situation look at 6 9 all those people he's around let's face it I know for a fact for a damn fact even though they don't want to want to admit it I'ma bet you I, I would bet you like a hundred dollars saying that I would bet you like a hundred dollars that all of them people there they only only with him for the money not because he's your bro and such they're for the money cuz nobody nobody likes a snitch cuz cuz the fact is the man was talking so much about gang members and such but when it came down to the t I didn't get what he's saying about the whole situ the whole stuff that's been happening and such but it's like this too you know the rep you know the situations and such you know it was gonna eventually happen you still went on with it and the fact that you kept on going on with it nobody gonna take you seriously so whether or not if you had good reasons the fact still remains you went on with it when you know you wasn't about it you got your ass whooped sorry if I curse on so but facts is facts you got your ass whooped and then you snitch I don't care if you had even if you had a medical reason why you came out of jail cause he was facing 47 years and such either way you got out of jail and then the minute you came back you are still talking all that stuff that just shows you that he don't care and the fact that right now this man is literally talking about death like disrespecting dead people's life and such like he's literally keep on disrespecting King Vaughn's death like I didn't see it but I heard that on Instagram the man has a shirt same thing like this but with King Vaughn's King Vaughn on it and he lying on the gun so he pick your homie up like come the hell on that's what I'm telling you watch how and he and he's doing all that stuff with security I'm telling you watch how when Every, watch how when everything falls down to him watch how everything just crash below for him all them securities all them people and such they gonna vanish from him cause I'm sorry if I spit on something they gonna just vanish from him cause he's not cause all that rah rah and such he ain't gonna he's not gonna last long and it's like I'm, but it's like this sorry I had to go into that big old rant and so it's just that Anytime when he goes into something that's factual, you know, me personally, for all who's known me, anything that's fact and such, I gotta talk on it. So sorry if this reaction was wrong, but it's like this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homie Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.